Denver Fire didn't bother to double check if a hit and run call was for real. After hearing from contact Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen, they're unlikely to make that mistake again. Number 911. A simple hit and run. Someone just collided into the back of my car and then um, drove away. But the 911 response to Callie Benson's call. I was right here. Revealed a series of problems with Denver Public Safety. It's Friday night and we are pretty busy. You also have the option of filing this report online or at a district station. Um, could you send someone out here, please? Okay, well, just so you know, it could be a while before they get out there. Callie waited and waited but police and fire were no shows. After contact Denver 7 started investigating, we found dispatchers sent Denver fire to the wrong address, 38th and Brighton, even though Callie had literally spelled out her intersection. Delgany at D-E-L-G-A-N-Y Street um, and 38th Street. Turns out Denver fire just canceled the call when they couldn't find Callie. No follow-up, leaving Callie reaching out to contact Denver 7 for help. Because I wasn't getting any answers, um, so it was really nice when Denver 7 finally came in. After our first story, the city apologized, promising change. In this pass along report obtained by Contact Denver 7, all members of Denver Fire are told to place follow up calls before closing an incident, explaining in the past we have had support from call takers and DPD dispatch, but with staffing shortages, we need to assist when needed. Do you feel like this is enough? I think it's a start. I think it's a good start. The reality is Denver 911 has been struggling with low staffing levels for months. We're not immune from the great resignation as it's been deemed. While Denver Public Safety declined our request to comment on camera in this case, in a statement, a spokeswoman says they have changed fire dispatch procedure, requiring fire dispatch to reach out to the reporting party, saying we believe that this change and increased communication between our agencies will ensure that incidents like this do not happen in the future. Has anyone been arrested with the hit and run? Oh, no, no. Nope. Even though the crash was caught on camera, no arrests have been made. The bungled fire response complicated Callie's insurance claim, and she's still dealing with that. But she takes some comfort knowing at least someone is being held accountable for the response she never received. Now that there was more of a spotlight on them, um, more attention came to the situation. And they're like, okay, like let's figure this out, like what actually happened. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.